So, oh, well done, you get that out. I just uh, wiggled it. <laughs> I hope the neighbours like metal. It's good, Evelyn, because we're back here for digging. Got all our digging stuff ready. All right, it is the day after because it started to get a bit late last night. A and bit. Hmm? A bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the customer showed up as well and he, um, he's pleased with the results. And, uh, you can have a look properly yourself now. Look at that. So as you remember, there was that big pillar there and that pillar came out more there. Now it's one nice big kitchen diner and got these bolted up last night while dad was uh, pad stone in and I'll just show you inside as well there you go they are bolted in properly so besides, besides the weight of it and the uh, messing about with it that's about as straightforward as it comes the actual Moving the steels off the wagon through the window into the house and up into place was absolutely an absolute dolly. Yeah. It was just all the fiddly bits that took all the time, like the pad stones and patching, getting the steels actually plumb and level. But now that the bolts are in there, it's staying plumb. And we've just got one more pad stone to do. We ran out of mortar because I um I got these patched up. But yeah, progress. So I think today is obviously get that pad stone in and get the brickwork started on that door and that one finished. I think I'm going up on a ladder, aren't I? We'll see, probably won't be on that window today because we need to frame off rather to build them, so yeah. no point going to get the window out to secure it. That's probably tomorrow's job. Yeah. So the next job is tidy everything up to that corner, get the door out. Sounds good. And we'll uh, get cracking. Thank you. 
Right, we've had a quick lunch. This was all tidied out before. Here we are. Finished in here. Bar that door. Oh yeah, one pad's done. One pad's done through in there. That's going to get done soon. So, Alex is on finishing off the outside on that. He's up on the scaffold, on the trestle. I started on the door. Did all the toothing from scratch. So it's probably less than an hour to get all them out. So there's brickwork. There's the rest of the brickwork. Alex has got three and a half quarters to go. And I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty to go. So yeah, just cracking along. As soon as he's done out there, he's going to jump in and get this block working. But it, there's no rush for that. I'm going to have that brickwork done today. Definitely, we're going to be secure. And then, if time, if got time left, I'm going to drop that in. I think I'm going to take one more course of brick off that and put a bigger piece under the pad stones. I think it'd be a better idea. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we'll catch you later. Right, Alex is all done. Made a lovely job of that. Great match, great brickwork. Lovely. That's all the mix tipped out. Mix of the water in. I've got two, four, six courses to go. All loaded out, up on a trestle so I'm not bending. There's my crap. And uh, we've got, I've got half an hour to get that up. So I need to pull my finger out 
I know it's going to get tidy up while I get this last bit in. So we've got to meet her Neil to go and look at another job at five o'clock. Which it's about 15 minutes away, so we've got a little bit of time to play with. But uh, I need to get this up as quick as I can. So um, it's going to be a time lapse job again as usual. So we're uh, catching it. Right, happy Friday, back again, let's take you to today's job, or one of today's jobs, sorry, quick one, nice straightforward door to block up there, it's 900 and a bit, so it's full block and big halves, so you're not, we're not trimming anything there, that can all be done with the uh, lump hammer and bolster, straightforward enough. 20 blocks or 18 blocks and then up here to the bathroom excuse the camera I do have a limp so oh, well done how did you get that out? I just uh, wiggled it yeah, do it down vertical so we were sat on the bloody uh, things and there's some snops here that just need picking off so if we could pass my hammer a quick set so Alex went out through the window, so I've put a ladder up for him now. So this, basically we're going to follow this with the brickwork. Robbie and Robbie have built us a frame to build in. But we haven't got that at the moment, so we might just have to um, brick it up and then put some timber behind it to secure it. As you see, Alex has done that, left the tie wires already. Oh, I'm being sure it's all right. <laughs> and so the top, Alex popped the beads out on the top piece. So that's out. Now we're going to take the opener out, that leaf. That's three screws and then that can be lifted out and then we'll take the frame out. So we're not lifting loads of big heavy windows up and down on the roof and in the bathroom. So yeah, I'll uh, try and get the camera in a half decent position. And then carry on.
So there we go, there's another one for all those idiots to say Alex needs firing because he does nothing. He's just done all that. He's been out perched on the roof. He's took the window out. He's, put, he's done all the hard work. He's done all the multi-tooling up there, perched on a windowsill, on a roof. I've just stood here and filmed him basically because I can't get out there. So, just a, just a heads up for that one. So now it's all chopped out so we can get the brickwork to sail up now past that. Now next stage is knock that cavity out and get those halves knocked out. Do you want to try the multi the, the sippo? Sawzall. Mm. Do you want to try the sawzall? Yeah. And then I'll get a hammer and bolster up here too for the cavity. Do you want to use the um, the power hammer for that? Uh, right, there's Alex. Oh, where was that? In the rain. Sand. Oh. That needs to go in the van now. Do, do we need to use it, do you reckon? Um, it's a bit damp. I suppose so, and then we'll just use half of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, You've got an earwig on your shoulder. On your neck. Huh? It's on your neck. That's an earwig. <laughs> so look. Got it. Don't want to attack you unless you attack them. They are quite friendly. Oh, I'm not just a bit unnerving when they're on you. Don't kill it. I, I'm not it off. <laughs> they were they were happy to in that steel that we took out. Yeah, they're everywhere on there. Here we go. Here we go. Grasshoppers. So anyway, that's enough waffle. Dinner's over. Ten to one. I'm gonna help Alex get a mix in because the sand's out there. It's just these legs and the mix is in here. So he's gonna pass it up through the window. I'm gonna drive off to go and see Robbie and Robbie and get this frame for a window there. Probably see the daylight up there. That's where our window is, up there. So we're going to get the frame, build the frame in so it's sealed, put a couple of screws in it, and then while I'm away, Alex is going to get this block work up, it's as straightforward as it gets, and then hopefully, by the time, oh bloody hell, here we go, my face as well. I'll just flick that off my chops. Cheeky bugger. But anyway, yeah, let's get this mix in, I can get going, and then Alex should be nearly done on here by the time I get back, and then when I'm doing upstairs, he can be doing the tidying up and then it's gone. Friday finish, so it's a job and not today. So I'll just stay on time before I get the mix in. Mix is in, blocks are there. I just need to cut four halves and that's it. So it's very happy days because that never happens. It works two block specifically. So two blocks, two halves and a block all the way up. So that is excellent. I'm just getting the radio because dad's had to bugger off a sec. The Ro Robbie's made a template for that window. He's going to get that done. He's going to get the template attached and then work to that. So while he's gone, I get I get the radio. No no more uh no more bloody this modern crap. I hope the neighbours like metal. Excellent. So yeah I'll get you set up somewhere where you can watch the the construction and I will I'll get cracking.
Dad has returned, so music's got to go off. <laughs> Not bad though, only one, two, three courses to go, but I'm going to be short one block, so I need to find a block. <laughs> I'll just see what Dad wants and uh, let him know. I'm, uh, I'm one block short. Get away. Really? Yeah, I'm on block shot. The lights here with a bit of plaster on, just not the plaster off the back of the scotch. Here we go. Pro problem solved. Let's go help this man. After an hour, bloody wasted time, bloody traffic. So we fixed the window, fixed it at the top at the moment, just so it's safe. Now it's nice and plumb, plumb both ways. Just needs a couple of grabbers at the bottom for security, but it's fixed through the top into the um, soffit. So now I just get to have to run in now. I'm just waiting for Alex to bring me the knife for the insulation. I've got everything else I can get cracking now, and it's raining on me, but it's not raining on the wall. That's the main thing. It's just as long as I'm that thing doesn't do anything to rain down on me either. Yeah, you. Yeah, so, all right, let's get this line up and let's get this brick worked on. Hoping for an early dark today, but that that hour going and picking the, the the windows up just killed the day. So, so much for an early dark. We're going to have to make sure we get an early dark tomorrow. I owe him one. So yeah, got the op up on one leg there with the board on it. Bricks are back out on the roof because the window is in the way. We did have the bricks in the window hole. But um, it's going to be a lot quicker having the frame to build in. No plumbing, just run it in. So um, I'm going to try and set you up somewhere where you can see what I'm doing and um, get cracking. Probably go for the spot board, I think. Well, since the camera died, I had to change the battery, but I can show you this now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
voila. So, as you can see, there were some pretty big beds there, so I just went with flushing it instead. Because um, I had to go with what was there, and bloody hell, some of them beds were massive. Look at that one. But still looks nice, I think, at least. And there's the thermolite block we had to use because we ran out of fiber lights. But there you go. That's one wall completely blocked up now. And also, obviously, got the bottom bit punched up and done. Top point at the top, tie wires in every two quarter block, same with the bluebirds. Go back and take a look properly if you're uh, commenting, where are they? Go and take a look. I promise, I promise you they're there, okay? Promise. But anyway, I'll get you back to Dad while he finishes his part. Just wanted to show you there's my part done. So yeah. Once, uh, once he's done up there, it's just a case of tidying up a little bit and skedaddling because we're back here for digging. Got all our digging stuff ready. So yeah, I'll pass you. There we go, walking backwards down the roof, trying not to fall off it. As you can see. Tell you what, should have heard my hip clicking on there, because I'm not stood on flat ground. It's <laughs> like a Lego set. Yeah. There you go. That looks smart. I've, as I've just said that, I've just seen the, uh, the soffit. Where it starts there and goes up and then down. It's a bit weird. Anyway, all too thin, every two the rock solid, block work was done a couple of days ago, insulation been put in and then we just need to put, I'll put two screws in this while Alex is tidying up, it's screwed to the top, I just want to screw it to the bottom for security, it's not going anywhere, you won't be able to boot it in but just for belt and braces so that is, that's my bit for today, I'll hand you to Alex and you can give you a little walk round of everything else, so here he is. I like it down the ladder. Thank you, Dad. Right, so bear with me a sec. I'll take you. I'll take you inside. Actually, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold my horses. Here's one bit. Say, unless you mentioned it before, that's been reduced. So you can get a nice big shower cube. I've mentioned it, yeah. Yeah. So there's those two doorways which have been cut out and not cut out, patched back up. Um, finished them yesterday and obviously dad did that bit a while ago and it looks lovely how now that the mortar's drying off there just how nice it blends that brick match is bloody lovely and then we, we had um, a tiny three quarter in it so I put two bigger three quarters in it just to blend it in a bit yeah so it's two three quarters every course just to make it look a bit better rather than one little tiny one yeah which wasn't much bigger than a half so it's just it's just you can't make it perfect but you just gotta make it look right the other alternative would have been take the whole thing down which you couldn't really do <laughs> so anyway i'll take you over here you can't really see him from this end but two lintels on each window no one li <laughs> cut that out New lintels on both these windows, as you can see as well. Wheat vents, cavity tray, and there's the cutout for the new door size. Same over here. 
new size, and then I'll take you inside. So, there's the first task we did. Knocked out that fireplace and patched up all the very well made holes that were not filled in. Uh, turned this into a doorway. So I, I broke out the floor part to find the bricks and then we've erected those were little walls to make it a doorway. Then there's the block work of the of the doorways as my pa just did today. Uh, there's the new concrete lintel that went in for the door. My nice heavy lintel to try and get up there but we did it. And then the biggest one, steel. Which went a lot better than we thought it could have done. We were kind of dreading to get, kind of dreading how we were going to get this through, but the whole process of getting it in and getting it up was easy. It was just getting it plumb, which was the uh, the challenge, but there you go. I'm sat on some nice pad stones every side, tightly compacted. They aren't going anywhere. Bolted up, every single one, all eight holes. Bolted up properly, show you again. And obviously as well, breaking out the doorways for the Robbies to sort out later. So yeah, that's been quite a big fixer-upper job, but I think uh, hopefully Dad will do like a before and after shot during at some point around now or the end, so you can actually see how much this has improved. So now it's gone from being a little tiny kitchen, a little tiny rooms. It's one massive kitchen diner now, which divides nicely into the living room, which is now more spacious with that fireplace gone. You can like have your TV there or whatever. I don't know. I'm not an architect. But happy days. It's been one of those jobs which has actually gone really nice from start to finish. I don't want to say that now. Knock on wood because our next job's probably going to be shit now. <laughs> but yeah, very nice, uh, nice inside job as well. While uh, while the rain's been threatening and the sun's been so hot, very British weather, isn't it? Anyway, that'll be it for this fixer upper series. The next part of this will be the dig, which will be a separate video entirely. So this is the end of the building side of it. So thank you all very much for joining us on this big journey. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell, that way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex, with, with a lot of lintels, a lot of steels, a lot of uh, old doorways being turned into walls, a lot of doorways being turned, walls being turned into doorways, and we'll see you in the next one.